Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Volunteers of America National Veterans Day service. And we're so happy for the turnout here today. We're glad to have all of our veterans here, as well as so many of our residents, and you've come out to commemorate with us today. That's wonderful. We have our president, Mr. Mike King, is going to be delivering a message here in just a moment. We're excited about that. But first, we're going to sing a song together. But we have a very special guest that's going to sing the first stanza of America the Beautiful. Mr. Roger Wheeling has been so kind and gracious to lead us. We'll start off with him singing the first stanza and then we're all going to join him, okay? together for this day and for this service, Lord. We thank you. Uh, there are so many things to thank you for, Father. We're just going to observe just a moment for everyone to lift up a bit of thanksgiving to you. Let's do that right now. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your blessings. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Our scripture reading is going to be read by Sophie. You want, you want to come up here? Uh, 
A reading from the book of John, chapter 15, verses 10 through 13. Okay. A reading from the book of John, chapter 15, verses 10 through 13. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even, of, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment. If ye love one another as I have loved you, greater love hath no man than this, that a man may lay down his life for his friends. Thank you. Thank you, Sophie. And Vanessa Pena from our Miami affiliate is going to read that same verse in Spanish. Hi, Juan, capítulo 15. Si guardaréis mis mandamientos, estaréis en mi amor, como yo también he guardado los mandamientos de mi Padre, y estoy en su amor. Estas cosas os he hablado para que mi gozo esté en vosotros y vuestro gozo se ha cumplido. Este es mi mandamiento, que os améis los unos a los otros como yo he amado. Nadie tiene mayor amor que este, que ponga alguno su vida por sus amigos. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. I'd like to lift up this pastoral prayer, if you'll join me by bowing your heads. Father, once again, we thank you for this day. Lord, as we think about all those who've gone before us, who've sacrificed so much, Lord, we thank you that we know where they're at, they're with you. We thank you, Lord, that one day there'll be no more wars, there'll be no more hurting, and we'll all be together with you. We thank you for the veterans that are here today, Lord, that have witnessed so much during their time of service, watching their friends, losing some of them along the way. So we ask for your blessing on hearts today. Continue to comfort us, grant us peace, Lord, when the memories of those that have fallen before us come to mind. We thank you for your grace and your mercy, of course, and your love, Lord. And it's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. We're going to have a moment of silence for those that have fallen. Now I'd like to introduce the President and CEO of Volunteers of America, Mr. Mike King. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is this is you know, one of our favorite days of the whole year. Uh, and it's because of all of you sitting here that make it our favorite day of the whole year. We love being here and being in your presence. We are humbled and honored to be in your presence. 
I, I think all of you deserve a big round of applause because you set the tone for us. You absolutely set the tone for us. Give yourself a warm, lovely round of applause. I want to thank Pastor Bob and Kevin and our wonderful stream team, Hope and Alejandra, as well as our minister team over, over here. Sophie and, and, and folks jumping up here and, 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 and doing the good, great job that they do for us. Uh, we, we absolutely look forward to this. Uh, our folks are looking at this nationwide from the Volunteers of America family, as well as we'll be looking at a uh, replay of it uh, that'll be posted later on. It's absolutely appropriate that we would take this time out to honor our veterans, many of whom are with us right now. All the folks who are veterans, raise your hands over here. And because there's some are over here too. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We would not be able to do what we're doing today without what each of you have already done for us, that you've already done for us. We would not have the freedom to assemble that we have today, that we're exercising right now. And we take that for granted. We would not have this freedom were it not for the service you have already given us. We would not have the freedom of speech the freedom of speech that we exercise and that we exercise this week by having an election in a democracy. The freedom to disagree without punishment. We would not have that freedom were it not for what you've already given us. We would not have the freedom of religion. The freedom of religion, the, th the freedom to worship any faith you choose to worship in our country and be respected and honored for doing so. We would not have that freedom to say the prayer that was just said were it not for what you've already given us and already sacrificed for us. This is a day that we should be incredibly thankful to you, incredibly grateful to you for what you've done. And it may be the largest gathering of World War II veterans of any place in the country. I think it's right here, and I think it's right here in this part of the room. I mean, it's right there, you know, and sprinkled out through here as, as, as well. As well as, thankfully, our Vietnam vets and Korean vets and all the other vets that are here as well. But you World War II vets are a rare alumni, okay? You're a rare alumni. My parents fell into that alumni. My father was in the 10th Mountain Division. Served in Italy, got the Purple Heart there and the Silver Star there. I grew up looking at scrapbooks of it that my mother kept while he was away. And what I think of every time I think about this day is that your generation, my parents' generation, when you went off to that war, we did not have nuclear superiority in the world at that time, as you well know. That was the last war we went off to where victory was not guaranteed. We didn't know, and you didn't know, when you went off to that war, if we were going to be living in a free America afterwards, or if we were going to be taken over by a dictatorship from a foreign country and lose every one of the freedoms we just celebrated, every one of the freedoms we just talked about. You did not know. You overcame the fear of that, the fear of not knowing, and showed the courage and the willingness to sacrifice. The sacrifices are incredible. As I flip through the scrapbooks, I see the ration stamps, okay? I see the ration stamps where we couldn't just go out and buy a pair of shoes, okay? You couldn't just go out and get all the sugar you wanted. You couldn't do any of that. You see, my generation and the generations afterwards take all that for granted. They we're hardly even aware of it. I'm only aware because I look through that scrapbook and see the sacrifices that you made. You know, we, we truly could not thank you enough for that. And I have to tell you, you truly are America's greatest generation because not only did you provide an incredible victory which preserved democracy in the world, and frankly, forevermore, but even afterwards, after that, you showed the rest of us how to live our lives. In fact, everyone in this room has showed the rest of us how to live our lives. 
That's why we look so forward to having this time with you. The time to honor veterans, and at the same time we're honoring veterans in this facility, we're honoring your lives and how you lived your lives and just hoping we can soak some of that up. That the rest of us can soak up what you have already done, the legacy you have already laid for the rest of us to look at and view and learn from. We literally cannot thank you enough. And your service as veterans and your honoring of veterans is a wonderful way of lifting that up. Lifts that up for all of us. Literally, literally this week, as we exercised our major freedom of free speech, choosing our leaders, and particularly yesterday showing the world how to, in a civilized and peaceful way, begin the transfer of leadership, the transfer of governance, in a very gracious and civilized way, that in itself honors your service. That peaceful transition of power within a government honors the service that all of you gave to us and the service we're honoring today by all of our veterans, by all of our veterans, so that we can show the world, truly show the world, that we can navigate this great freedom that all of you gained for us. We cannot thank you enough for that. We simply can't thank you enough. But you know what? We're gonna keep thanking you. We're gonna keep thanking you and all the veterans for this. And we're gonna keep doing everything we can to support you so that we have this opportunity to show others how you lived your life and hopefully we can strive to live one just as rich. Shall we pray? May God bless us all. May God give us all the courage and the calm to go forward building a better world, one that would make our veterans proud. Amen. Thank you so much, Mike, for taking the time to come down here and join us today. Well, we're going to recognize our veterans today, uh, actually by branch. So those of you that were in the Army, would you wave your flag tonight? All right. Thank you. And I'm going to read a list of our residents here that are with us. Warren Beesmeyer, Natal Basio, Lou Dance, Peter Divineer, George Faulkner, Frank Fink, Jack Fleming, Warren Goodman, Don Heidorn, Roy Hewer, Stu Hodes, Roy Jordan, John F. Lang Jr., Harry Layfield, Peg Levy, Gary McMahaffey, Norman Marcus, Ray Marzocchi, Ray Pannone, Albert Rowland, John Schatz, Dick Slagle, Bob Stewart, Dick Weiss, John Wilson, and forgive me if I've missed anyone. I would also like to add, add to that list of Army my four children. Chief Warrant Officer Nicole Maxey, Captain Ian Robbins, 
Specialist Sarah Inkenbrand, Staff Sergeant Robert Inkenbrand, and last but not least, my wife Leah, who we have adopted as an honorary veteran. <laughs> and Vanessa is going to come up and join me to recognize our list of naval veterans. And if we can go ahead and see all of our Navy veterans, if you could wave your flags. <laughs> Mr. Charles Burke, John Diamond, Bob Geiger, Mary Hoyman, William King, Jerry McCarthy, Dick McConville, Gordon Moore, Skip Myers, Warren Peterson, George Resner, Michael Ruda, Harry Schaefer, Neil Smith, Marie Shively, Austin Warder, Roger Wheeland, Dale Yost, and Everett Reitinger. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vanessa. Air Force, wave your flags high. Air Force. All right. And that includes Bert DiDonato, Ed Farr, Bob Geiger. Bob, you're in there twice, and we know why. <laughs> Congratulations. I heard that story. Ronald Gilman, Richard Hosda, Jerry Holmes, Betty Lou Kuznarski. Ed Watson, Henry Weller. Thank you all. There are some amazing stories behind each one of these names that we've read so far. Just ask them. Marines. All right. As most of you know, Pastor Tom's son is a Marine, and he is in Okinawa today as we speak, visiting that son, who he hasn't seen for almost two years. So we're glad that they're having a family reunion on this Veterans Day. Charles Davis, Al DeLellis, Frank Hathaway. Don Smith. Thank you so much. Well, we're happy to have Coast Guard and Merchant Marines, Salvatore Ritz. Did I say that right, Sal? All right. Thank you, sir. And here's a unique one for you from the British Home Guard. Neville Shevloff. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, someone asked me one day about being a veteran and what's your story like and how did it fare for you? And, you know, I had to tell them you could line 20 of us, 50 of us up together and everyone would have it unique story to tell you. We all had a different, unique part to play, but together we did it. And we're still doing it. Well, at this time, we're going to sing another song together. We want you to sing out with all you got. 
And Vanessa is going to come up and sign for us. So you can see these beautiful words that the deaf enjoy through what Vanessa is doing today. our heads just one more time. Lord, we thank you once again for all that you do. We thank you, Lord, as I am reminded with all these soldiers in front of me and myself as one and my children, Lord, that we are all soldiers in your army. We thank you, Lord, that we're soldiers of Christ Jesus and that we're here battling every day the things that we need to deal with in this life. So we thank you for blessings upon us. Grant us all, Lord, strength and courage and confidence. Fill us, Lord, with the capacity to love one another and to bless each other we thank you for your grace and mercy in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May God bless you. May God make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Serve the Lord. Amen. You are dismissed.
God bless you, Ted.